Okay, in this video we're going to show you how to pre-wire a burglar alarm keypad. You're looking at a single gang box and it's got a 22 gauge 4 conductor burglar alarm wire in it. And this is going to be a keypad location. Now this location, which is right next to a light switch so that you can turn it on when it's dark so that you can see the keypad, is in a little hallway adjacent to the foyer. And this is important because it's kind of out of the way. You don't really interact with the keypad too much, but it's concealed from view. Uh, uh, youngsters can't always reach the keypad, but when they get to a certain age, they can still see it. So the height is more of a preference thing in this particular application, but the height of this particular keypad is about four and a half feet above the finished floor. And that particular wire runs all the way back to the head end of the burglar alarm system and it ties down to the keypad terminals on the burglar alarm control panel. It's fairly straightforward. When the sheetrock is hung and the wall texture is done and the wall painting is done, then the keypad back plate mounts to these two holes and then the keypad wires, there are four uh, terminals, you just match up the colors. In here it's uh, red, white, yellow, and green or black. Sometimes they, they change them up, but you just match them up to the terminal strip on the back of the keypad, snap the keypad on, boom, you're done. I'm going to show you one other keypad location. Here's the other keypad location. This is in the master bedroom, and we put a label on this particular one, but there's no back box because we're going to just screw the back plate of the keypad right to the sheetrock and into these uh, wall studs right here. But we, in order to fish the wire down here, we had to drill at a pretty sharp angle and then we took a piece of wire and fished it through this hole. I probably don't want to duplicate it because I don't want to risk damaging that wire. But then we fished it through the hole and that's how we got it down here. And then of course the wire goes up through the top plate back to the alarm control panel. That second wire you're looking at is a door contact which is right there. The way these doors are designed and framed, um, you have to drill real shallow, but that's what that second wire is. So this is a keypad that goes in the master bedroom, and it's pretty accessible to the uh, adults that, that uh, sleep in here, and they can get to the alarm uh, at any hour of the night if it goes off. Hey, thanks for watching. Please subscribe to the channel. We appreciate your time. Have a great day. Brought to you by the website www.allabouthomeelectronics.com. For more information on this topic or other topics pertaining to home electronics, visit the website by clicking the link located directly below this video.